Signore e signori, benvenuti allo Stadio Olimpico. Oggi si soffrono Italian. So it's the third place playoff designed with only consolation in mind. On commentary duty, John Champion and Jim Beglin. Rome's Stadio Olimpico. Everywhere you look in the Eternal City, you're reminded of its great past. And the roof here strikes me as no exception. It is said to imitate the roof of the famous Colosseum. And the lineups for today. No shortage of support for either team as the game gets up and running amidst huge expectations. We are off and running. And he guides it back. Blatant foul there. And the offside flag is up. Nihat. And it could bring a chance here. Chance! A goalkeeper of this class isn't going to be troubled by that. He is strong in the air. De Rossi. Crescita. Well, the through ball came to nothing and it's been cleared upfield. Arrived in the box. Chance in the box. And he swings it over to the target. It could have been a chance on goal, but the defenders cleared it away for a corner. It's up for the aerial challenge. Nihat. It's a firm block tackle. No, it's been cut out. Just caught him. Returns the ball. Nihat. Di Natale. Giladino. Quagliarella's there. There's the opening goal. They've scored. He kept his composure, saw where the keeper was, and picked his spot beautifully. I just think in midfield he's almost the perfect player. Great vision, superb energy, and he scores too. And these players from both sides still battling for the right to play their football. Lead is narrow, probably deserved. Now they seek an equaliser prior to half time. Didn't get the ball there, free kick.
back it goes. The half-time whistle goes and the players head in for a break. What will the managers have to say to their respective teams after these performances, I wonder? I'm sure they'll be very happy with their first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Just the one goal separates them. 1-0 it is as we await the second half. So, a resumption of hostilities. Their lead still intact for the time being. Italy sitting comfortably at this stage, leading by one. They're building the play. Now, and the defensive block is an important one. Ada Turan, Tunchai Shanley. Deliberate foul. It won't be easy from here. The ball's out. Goal kick. Approaching the hour mark in this game. Two players waiting. De Rossi. Who is the target? Bit of space on the flank. The shot is nowhere near. If the goal had been twice as high, he would still have missed. He's handled the pressure so well at times like this in the past, I can't believe he's missed it. Here comes a substitution. Chiellini. Immediately on the attack. Crescita. Almost 75 minutes on the watch now. Ada Turan. Now, this is a promising break. They've got the ball. It's time for a substitution. Not the worst tackle I've seen, but play stopped nonetheless by the referee. It looked like there was genuine contact, but the referee didn't see that. It's a yellow card. Good header. It was well cut out, but he has to be careful here. Hamid out in top. Tunchai Shanley. The keeper couldn't take it cleanly and it's gone behind for a corner. It's across the face of goal. Into the last five minutes. And the crowd breathless from the football they've seen. And still in pursuit of an equaliser. Oh, that's sloppy play. Di Natale. De Rossi building up here. He needs support. He cleared. That's it. After much consultation with his stopwatch, the referee has blown for time. Somewhat subdued, perhaps, but congratulatory cheers nonetheless still ring out around this stadium. It was a fantastic performance, given the difficulty of overcoming a semi-final defeat.
Good teamwork, really good cohesion. They're the kind of ingredients that set up any sort of win, and it really made the difference for me. That's what won them the game. That's it for tonight's match. So it just remains for me, John Champion, to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish all of you a very good evening.